Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about skincare that's gentle and friendly to your skin. And nothing is more gentle or friendly to the skin than ceramides, in my opinion. Oh yes, one of my favorite skincare ingredients. You know, they play a vital role in your skin's health. Ceramides make up 50% of your skin's moisture barrier. They really help keep your skin hydrated and strong, keeping that barrier defense strong. So basically, healthy skin. That's what we're talking about today is healthy skin. And that is the root of all good skin, right? At its core, it's got to be healthy in order to be bright and beautiful. And so today we are celebrating ceramides and I'm rounding up all of my favorite products with ceramides in them. And hey, by the way, if you love ceramides, please consider hitting subscribe anytime throughout this video, especially if you get value from it. All right, if you're so ready to find out what my product choices are, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. Now, ceramides, traditionally found in like creamy texture skincare products like moisturizers and emulsions, but you really can find them across a variety of different products. And that's really what I wanted to focus on today is variety, lots of different textures and weights for lots of different skin types. So we're gonna start off the video with some of the lightest textures with ceramides in it and then build our way up to some of the creamiest, richest, thickest textures. So let's start off with the Illy Yoon Ceramide Ado Water Lotion. Now this is really like a toner type of product, but it actually delivers it to your skin in a mist format. And I think that that is really crucial for getting a even but very light layer on your skin. Now key ingredients here, we've got ceramide NP, really one of the most common forms of ceramides you're going to find in skincare products. And we also have glycerin, that hard working hydrator for the skin. And that's really what the texture is here. We've got the hydration element, but we also have a little bit of balance, just a little bit of moisture. And it it really is so light on the skin because of that mist. It comes out in a really fine application. This is not the type of mist that spits product at your face, you know, like in an uneven layer. This is a very fine mist. So you can get this all over your face without overwhelming your skin or accidentally over applying it and using too much product. This just comforts the skin. It doesn't make it look shiny or greasy. It just has that hit of hydration, just a little bit of balancing moisture without any weight or greasiness and it just feels so good and just like a nice hint of calming for the skin. Now toners aren't necessarily my preferred vehicle for ceramides in my skincare routine but I'll tell you I will take it where I can get it and I really do consider this to be kind of like a booster to my skincare routine and definitely adding something into my skin and that's where this next product comes in because this is the Make Prem Safe Me Relief Essence Toner. One of my like true favorite toners, like I'm madly deeply in love with this. Now this features panthenol glycerin and ceramide NP. And I think there's a couple of reasons why I just keep coming back to this product over and over again. Number one, it's got a lot of deep hydration. Texture here is really watery. There really isn't any moisture to this, but once it absorbs into your skin, it really replenishes it deep within. Those of you who suffer with dehydration know the feeling I'm talking about. It really gets in there and really relieves your skin. I feel like people who do go through dehydration a lot do need to pack their skincare with more ceramides to get their barrier function a little bit stronger to help you know, help their skin hold hydration in longer. And this is one of those types of products that can hit a lot of different areas for dehydrated skin all in one pretty simple, minimal product. So let's talk about serums. And I've got lots of different ones here, starting with the Be Plain Bamboo Hydrating Ampule. Now this has five different types of ceramides and it also has cholesterol. Now this is an important ingredient to look for if you're really looking for ceramides to help strengthen your skin's moisture your barrier because cholesterol is another important part of your barrier. It makes up about 25% of it. And it's actually like a really nice combination with ceramide. When you see these ingredients paired together in formulas, you can tell that this is skincare that's really focused on strengthening your skin. Now, other ingredients I just want to call out quickly include panthenol, sodium hyaluronic, and bamboo water. And these are all great for really deeply hydrating the skin. Making this a serum 
serum I would really recommend for people who do have dehydrated skin, who just kind of suffer with a lot of dehydration. This is the type of serum that's going to really hydrate and plump your skin up, really help relieve the dehydrated feeling. But it also has some of those key barrier strengthening ingredients that are going to help keep that dehydration from becoming so bad. Now the texture is a non-sticky gel type of texture. It's really hydrating. It absorbs really quickly into the skin, really plumps it up with lots and lots of hydration. There's really no moisture here or balance at all. It just feels really nicely hydrating, but it is that more gel type of texture. It doesn't leave your skin tacky on top after it's absorbed either, which I think is really ideal. Next up, I want to feature the RNW Ceramide Plus Concentrate Serum. Now this includes five different types of ceramides. We also have cholesterol and we have fatty acids. Now, if you have seen any of my barrier videos, you know those are the three holy trinity ingredients that you really want to seek for if you are really looking to strengthen your skin's moisture barrier. Maybe it's damaged. Maybe you just have chronic dehydration. You know, these are really the three ingredients that work the best together for barrier repair because ceramides make up 50% of your barrier, cholesterol makes up 25%, and fatty acids kind of make up the rest of the 25%. So you can see why these three would work really well together in a formula. We also have niacinamide and you know, you may think about this for brightening the skin and it definitely can contribute to a brighter complexion, but niacinamide also has barrier supportive uh, benefits to it as well. It can actually help stimulate your skin's natural synthesis of its own ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. We also have peptides. So we have acetyl hexapeptide 8, copper tripeptide 1, and matrixyl 3000. And these are all really well aging types of peptides. They're going to really bring a nice firm and lifted appearance to the skin. They help fight fine lines and wrinkles. This is for people who want to strengthen their moisture barrier or keep it strong and are seeking for those anti-aging benefits. Maybe a little bit of brightening, maybe some collagen stimulation. This has it all. It spreads really light, it absorbs really quickly, and you're gonna feel hydration with just a little bit of balancing moisture. Now this is not greasy or oily or super rich moisture. It's just that little bit of lock it down -ish, just that little hint of moisture. But it's actually really light wearing on the skin, a lot lighter than I was expecting it to be. The first time I tried it, it really wowed me. The texture surprised me, but I just love using this serum. I'm on to my second bottle already, and you've seen me use it in lots of different skincare routines. I'm a really big fan of this one because like I said earlier, it's really all in one, and that's what I like. I like multitasking products that can hit lots of different skin goals for me in just one little product. This is definitely one of those types of serums. Next up, let's talk about the Paula's Choice Omega Plus Complex Serum. Now we have have ceramides, five different types here, plus cholesterol, and we do have fatty acids, but the name is called Omega Plus, and that is referring to all of the different varieties of fatty acids in this formulation. They're really focusing on omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids, and those are all very good for your skin's moisture barrier. So they really do have a focus in this formulation on strengthening the, the moisture barrier. And that's why I think this product is going to be really best for those who have chronic dehydration. Like no matter how much hydration you put into your skin, it never seems to make a difference. You're just kind of always dealing with that dry and tight feeling underneath your skin. That's kind of me. Sometimes your skin might be naturally deficient in omega-3, 6, and 9. So it can be really like great to get all those ceramides into your skincare, but also really great to focus on the fatty acid element because that can really help strengthen your skin's lipid layer. And that's what really helps hug hydration. That's what really aids your moisture barrier to really hold the hydration in place. And that's what dehydration is all about, right? Keeping hydration from escaping your skin. So this could be a really good one for you if you just seem like you're always struggling with dehydration. It's a creamy texture. There's really no hydration to this. It's really a lot more of a moisturizing type of serum. But surprisingly, it goes onto the skin in a light layer. We do have nourishment. We do have richness to it. There's quite a few different oils in this serum, but it just spreads onto the skin in a light layer. This doesn't feel like a like 
full on moisturizer. It's lighter than that. And it's got great absorbency in the skin. I really don't notice like a, a shininess on top of my skin. The nourishment is happening inside, not on the top. And of course, I could not make this video without talking about Stradia Liquid Gold. And this is really what kicked off my personal obsession with ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids, which are obviously here in the formula. They also have 4% of niacinamide in this. And like I mentioned before, niacinamide really helps stimulate your skin's natural production of its own ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids, which is very important. And it has brightening benefits and 4% of niacinamide also starts to stimulate some collagen production in the skin too. So this product, while really focused on skin strength and that moisture barrier health, does have some anti-aging benefits to it as well. Now this is the product that I really recommend for those who really do suffer with chronic dehydration. And this is really the product that I recommend out of everything in the video if you have a severely damaged moisture barrier, if like nothing else has been working to get your skin healed up and strong, this is the product that I recommend. And the reason why is because this is the product that saved my skin. I'm not even trying to be like hype about this. It just truly is. I'm so grateful to this product. I damaged my skin's moisture barrier at the end of 2018. And I struggled actually for a couple of months trying to figure out how to get it back into shape. I didn't even know really what a damaged moisture barrier was exactly at the time. So it took me a while to figure it out. But it also took me a really long time to get my skin back on track. And once I added this into my skincare routine, that's when things started to change. That's when things started to look up and that's when the healing began. Now the texture here, it's interesting. Now it's called liquid gold because it is actually gold. This is the natural color of the sea buckthorn oil in here. And this is very emollient. It's actually richer than the polished choice. In, in my opinion, this is maybe a little bit more closer to um, medium where a polish choice is a little bit more light. This is a little bit more medium, but it spreads really gorgeously and silkily across the skin. It's got good absorbency. I do notice sometimes a little bit of shine from this product. I am like not scared of shine. I like a little bit of shine on my skin, but I would bring it up. There's just a little bit because there is a nice nourishment to this. There's a comforting feeling to this, a richness to this that feels really good when your skin is ailing. I did include this in the serum category of this particular video because you can actually use this two different ways. You can use this like a serum and that's really kind of how I use it. Um, I use it in my second to last skincare step before moisturizer, um, but you can actually use it as your moisturizer, as your final layer. It's definitely moisturizing enough to do that. For me personally, the one thing that absolutely has to be an element in my final layer is occlusivity, a lock it down feeling, something that really hugs hydration and locks in all my skincare. This product lacks occlusivity. So for me, it can't function as my final layer, but I love the flexibility of this. Use it second to last, you know what I mean? Um, before your moisturizer or use it as your moisturizer. It can really do it all. Um, you can even mix in a little extra oil if you want um, into this. You could mix this into your moisturizer. There's lots of different ways that you can use it, but use it. <laughs> if your skin is damaged, um, I really do recommend it. All right, let's move on to moisturizer. So first up is the La Roche Posay Tolerane Double Repair Face Moisturizer. So we have Ceramide NP married with niacinamide and glycerin. Don't sleep on niacinamide as a really important ingredient for your skin's moisture barrier, by the way. We've talked about it already enough in this video, but that married with the Ceramide NP and the hydrating glycerin is a very effective, if simple, combination for strengthening your skin. And this is really the one that I recommend for people who do have sensitive skin. This is a ingredients list does not contain any oils in it. We don't have any um, extracts, which you do find in lots, of, especially K-Beauty, but you find it in lots of different skincare. And if you're super sensitive, you, you never know what you're getting. It's a mixed bag with extracts for sure. No oils, no extracts, no frills. Um, and like I said, sensitive skin, that's exactly what you need. 
The texture here is interesting, and I think the glycerin is playing an important role here because it actually feels um, kind of hydrating on the skin. It's got a little plumpness to it, but we do have that comforting moisture with nice, breathable, light occlusivity. So it's just a little bit of everything I like in a moisturizer. Got a little bit of hydration, we've got the moisture, and we've got the lock it down feel while still allowing the skin to breathe. You know, I would say on a scale of light to heavy, this moisturizer falls in the medium category category, but a lot closer, like if it was a needle, the needle would, hold, would go a little bit closer to the lighter side of things. And I, I did kick off this section of the video because it is the lightest texture. It's got like a nice silkiness to it, a creaminess to it, but also that lightness. It plumps and hydrates the skin. It does all of the moisturization, all of the balance inside of your skin so no greasy or shiny layer on top it just gets inside of there and does its job with a really nice neutral finish on the skin and it feels super duper breathable like i have no problem wearing this in like super hot and humid temperatures this feels really good on the skin so we definitely have to talk illy yoon ceramide Ado concentrate cream of course we do now we have ceramide cholesterol fatty acid in here with um, a few different extracts now the ceramides are actually pseudo ceramides so you're not going to see the word ceramide, um, but this is basically ceramide NP. Now the ceramide is encapsulated. You're going to see it in the texture. You're going to see these little like little white balls or little white flakes. That's encapsulated ceramide. And the idea here is that when you're applying this to your skin, those capsules kind of burst and dissolve onto your skin. And that's what really keeps the ceramide efficacious. It helps it get into your skin a little bit better and really benefit your skin a lot more. I always say this about um, this particular product. Is it a marketing? gimmick um, or is it actually super beneficial I don't really know and I don't really care and the reason why I say I don't care is just because this product works so good for my skin that um, whether it's the encapsulated ceramide or just this straightforward ingredients list that's working for me it works and that's all that really matters to me at the end of the day it's got a silkiness to it it's got a nourishment to it but it's not greasy it absorbs in the skin really nicely it really fills your skin with comfort and nourishment but it really does all of that inside of your skin not on the top so we don't have a greasiness we don't have a heaviness we don't have a shininess to it. it's a very neutral finish on this cream which i absolutely love and it just feels so good. It feels so comforting. It feels so breathable. There is occlusivity, but it's just not overly. You know what I mean? On my skin, like I want occlusivity, but I don't want it to feel like it's sealed off. And this just has that breathability to it while still giving me a medium weight moisturizer on my skin. I love it. I talk about it all the time. You know, um, it couldn't not be in the video. Uh, it's just something that my skin absolutely loves. And I just go back to it time and time again. Of course, we quickly got to talk about CeraVe moisturizing cream. So we've got three different types of ceramide. We have cholesterol, fatty acids, sodium hyaluronate, and we have phytosphingosine. This is another one that you might want to look for in your skincare products if you are looking to strengthen your skin's moisture barrier. Really great barrier supportive ingredient. Now, honestly, everything pretty much that I said about Iliun's texture minus the encapsulated ceramide is actually what we have here in CeraVe moisturizing cream. They're incredibly similar in the texture both medium weight, comforting, nourishing, but not greasy, not sticky, not shiny on the top, doing all the moisturizing inside of the skin with occlusivity that still allows your skin to breathe. The biggest difference here, because that's probably what you're going to ask me, like, well, what's the difference between them? For me, the Iliune actually has a more elegant feel. And sometimes, you know, that's a really important experience with your skincare is how it feels on your skin. It is definitely a huge element for me. Just a little silky or a little bit more elegant, just a little bit softer on the skin maybe, where CeraVe really feels like a drugstore moisturizer. I'm not even saying that as a dig. I'm just saying it as the truth. <laughs> it just, it doesn't have that silky elegantness to it. It just feels like it just covers your skin um, and absorbs and the texture is nothing to sing home you know home about um, that's really the difference that i find it's really picky but you know what skincare is an experience 
and some you know elements of skincare that experience are more important to others right and so texture wise i think Iliun feels really nice and silky and elegant on the skin but really truly neck and neck as far as keeping the skin protected moisturized balanced and delivering good ceramides into the skin now i have a little like bonus miscellaneous category for you because like i said at the beginning of the video i'll take ceramides anywhere i can get them <laughs> and that's where these products come in so first up is the claire's rich moist soothing tensile sheet mask five different types of ceramides cholesterol fatty acids phytosphingosine centella aloe panthenol it's all in here and this is really one of my go-to sheet masks when my skin does feel inflamed when it feels a little bit irritated when it just needs a little bit of calming especially when i know that irritation and inflammation is because my moisture barrier is just a little bit out of whack the essence of this sheet mask it's kind of like a moisturizing gel it's not a creamy essence but it does have a moisturizing more balancing more fill your skin up type of feel to it than maybe the more hydrating lightweight essence sheet mask that you might be used to it always makes my skin feel calm after I've, i'm done using it that's what i expect sheet masks to do to kind of give me some immediate results either calm my skin down super plump it with hydration maybe even give it like a temporary brightening effect I expect immediate results and for me personally this mask really does deliver so I really like to see ceramide NP in eye creams you may not be looking for ceramide specifically in your eye creams there's definitely other ingredients you're also going to want to hit with your eye cream products but I personally find some of my favorite eye creams do have ceramide in them do have a like a little mini focus on barrier support along with the collagen stimulation the wrinkle and fine line fighting abilities so I just want to shout out to um, the Benton fermentation eye cream we've got some peptides in here a little bit of niacinamide and we also have ceramide NP um, this one definitely seems to help with discoloration under the eyes and the Pyung Kang Yul time reverse uh, eye cream I really like this one because there's some collagen stimulating peptides alongside of the ceramide NP both actually have a a really nice um, creamy texture that's not super greasy um, that have really good absorbency into the skin and both are actually really my go-to especially for cold weather because they have a protective quality to them so let me know your favorite ceramide skincare in the comment box below and hey if you got value from this video if it helped you out but you have not hit subscribe yet please do consider hitting subscribe um, I do release lots of new skincare content throughout the week so don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss all the new stuff that I drop every single week. I hope you guys are healthy, happy, and safe, and I cannot wait to talk to you soon. Bye.